Hello and welcome to this KX SQL interface course. I'm Michaela and I will be your instructor for the duration of this course. Now we will be using KX Developer with SQL capability as our learning environment and you can access your own version by clicking the button that says launch KX SQL sandbox from the course page. Once clicked and you have accepted the license agreement, you'll be brought to the same screen as I am sharing here. Here you will see we have an instance of KX Developer with our Git repository already checked out and ready to go. Now to get started, let's first open up our readme.md file. For all markdown files in Developer, we can right click on the white space within the file and select render markdown. This gives a much nicer version of the file that is much easier and prettier to read. In this readme.md, we have some tips on using the sandbox. One important one being, this is in a temporary environment, meaning if you log out or leave idle for a certain amount of time, any changes you may have made will be lost. So we would advise you to save and download your code from the markdown file. So when you return, you can simply upload the file and continue where you left off from. We have also here a list of the modules on the left-hand side and a description of what they mean. The main one being kxsql.demo, which is where the main course content lives and where we will begin learning. So let's launch and render our markdown file to begin. So I'm going to go through a quick course outline to begin with. At the top here, you can see we have the learning objectives of this course. And we're going to start by understanding what is kxsql and why is it useful. We'll then learn how to run basic SQL queries in kx. Then we will look at all the SQL language and DDL syntax that is supported in KX SQL. Then we will look at how to apply parameters with KX SQL, as well as how to make performance improvements. Some of the latter parts of this course require a little introduction to some Q syntax, but we will cover exactly what you will need to know. So don't worry if you're brand new to Q. Finally, we'll take a look at some of the cool products we can integrate with via the SQL interface, like KX Dashboards, Grafana and Tableau. Now, there are some course prerequisites that will help you if you are brand new to these technologies, one being W3Schools for help understanding SQL queries. And also, if you're new to this KX Developer IDE, you can check out the helpful developertips.md file on the left here. And you can also check out the introduction to KX developer course that we have in the Academy and you'll be able to see some live demos of the functionality there. So why have we built this SQL interface in KX? So the SQL language is one of the most widely used database query languages. So by supporting this, we are opening up the power of KX to a whole realm of new users who are already quite familiar with SQL. And we're listening to feedback from our clients and customers. And this is one of the big asks from, from them. And now just to be clear, this is not a replacement for the Q language. And indeed to get the very best performance and to build out more complex architectures with our KX technology, Q and learning the Q language is gonna be required to some extent. But what it does allow for is newcomers to get up and running, querying data in KX fast using a query language that they are already familiar with. It also allows interoperability with tools like Postgres, Grafana, Tableau, and Power BI, to name a few. And we're going to see some of those in action towards the end of the course. So some of the main KX SQL operators are listed in this table below. And full documentation can be found at the link provided. And that will bring you to the relevant page on our documentation site, code.kx.com. So definitely head there for additional reading and also to keep up to date with the latest developments and new features in our future releases of the KX SQL interface. The first two operators in the table are the SPROMPT and SQL Evaluate. These are how you can run your basic SQL queries and we'll take a look at these in the next video. We also have a parameter .s.sp for use when we introduce dynamic parameters to our statement. And the last two are specifically for use if you've got a highly repeatable query and it allows you to do some pre-parse optimization. So that's it for our introduction. In the next video, we learn how to run our SQL statements in KX.